let's get to this because we have a very 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 special guest in the studio uh, she's coming to us to speak about women empowerment yes. and of course her clothing line so a big shout out to Nadine <laughs> Yeah, so Nadine, uh, you are the owner of Niche Clothing. Yep. Yeah, so tell us a little bit about that. Um, Niche Clothing is a startup brand. I've been going two years and I really wanted to do something different, not just make clothes and have a clothing brand. I wanted to stand for something. I wanted women to feel like they're representing something when they wear it. Um, and that's come down to, it's taken a long time. And now I've just come out with a new collection um, and nice. a new design, it's amazing. which Maya is wearing. Woohoo, looking the fire. Nice, I put it on and I literally, nothing has stopped me tonight. I've had loads of things thrown <laughs> at me. And I came in here and I was like, Roche, I'm sorry for bringing the whole Zen down, but I'm here and I'm ready. Mm. And it, I feel like she, it has made me feel she more She said that you inspired her to come to the show today and carry on oh, with the day. that's Genuinely nice. Did. You Genuinely look amazing, did. girl. Thank you. Down to you, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. So, yeah, that's yeah. that's what the brand's about. Um, and, you know, it's all the, the, the new design is all, all explained on my on the Instagram and on the website. Okay, you want to mention well, the Instagram as well? Is it this pattern or was it the other pattern? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This with the with the key and yeah. the yeah. So there's like a crown on the pattern, which is like um, for all queens. There's a key, uh, which is like the key to life, or you know the ability to shut, uh, close, and open new doors. The rose, uh, the rose that grew from the concrete. Because nice. You know, we're from a, a council estate yeah. and, you know, we're all trying to make it out here. So concrete the, jungle. The road, <laughs> yeah, the rose that grew from the concrete. Um, and then the animal uh, print is like the, the fierceness of woman, you know, and that animal instinct, intuition, ladies, which is never wrong. Ooh, wow. Very true. You heard it here first, man. Nadine just explained the whole reason and the whole... Of this, this uh, Yeah, of that pattern. Do you know what? I'm Very so nice glad that. we have yeah. Nadine here today because normally I've got Sam shouting sexist comments to me about, you're a woman, shut <laughs> up, and, and I finally got someone on my side finally. speaking hey, for what's it. right. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> so Nadine, tell me about um, the name Niche. Where's, where's that come from? Because within itself, that sounds unique. Yes. So, so niche, as you know, is one is means one of a yeah, kind, um, and I've spelled it in a way which is spelled one of a kind yeah, as well, yeah. of the meaning, and it's also my daughter's name, Nisha. Oh, that's beautiful. Mm, nice, nice. Yeah. No way. Yeah. <laughs> it's really sentimental as well. Yeah. Yeah. So Maya, I'm sure you've got a few questions to ask Nadine as well. well since you just mentioned your daughter, yeah, go since on. you're talking about women empowerment, it's something that comes up at home with me. Yeah. Princesses. So when she was growing up. Obviously, every single Disney princess is saved by a man. Like, it's a common thing in the mm. world. Like, yeah. mm. women need a man, and it's just... How did you get around that barrier with your daughter, like, teaching her that it's that she can be powerful and it's the man doesn't have to save her and, like, not to follow a fairy tale because it's not true, if um, you know what I mean. Yeah, I don't... Yeah, 100%. Because my daughter's obsessed with princesses. So that's <laughs> everything, every day. And, yeah, it's taken I up. think there's I think there's a fine balance. I think that um, being a single mum for so long, you, be, you, you become so strong and so powerful um, that, you know, there's a fine balance between then talking about women empowerment but then taking a man's role which I don't think we should do so yeah. I think that nowadays it's it's a balance of you can be a powerful woman you know you can do everything and you can look after yourself you can pay your own bills you can be independent you don't need a man but you we don't, also don't want to be taking away that man's role which yeah. I think sometimes you know still be feminine still be classy still be elegant and be be proud to be woman you know mm. that is do you know what I'm pretty blown away? Do you know what I mean? It's, she's so inspiring. She everything is. she says, it's all linked into a brand as well. That's really why we wanted to speak to you today yeah, as well, just to spread it because yeah, it's beautiful. I think we should go to uh, one of uh, Nadine's tunes. Um, it's a Diesel Love tune. It's Hey There. <laughs> you wanted that tune, didn't you? Yeah, Dej Loaf is De- Dej Loaf. For the last six years, it's been me and Dej Loaf <laughs> on the road. <laughs> you know. <laughs> Keeping me powerful, keeping me, keeping my thoughts right. So one of your, one of your favorite artists, then? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Why, why, why do you like this tune? Because it, um, it's got actually, feature in there as actually, well, isn't it? Actually, actually, um, yeah. Um, hey, there is just a cool track. Yeah. Um, and I love a vibe. Um, but the my, one of my best tracks from Dej Loaf is Desire. Right. But, but this still isn't one of my tunes. Right. Okay. Well, we'll, we'll play this for you then. Yeah. You locked into the Ratio Show. This is Pi Radio. Myself, DJ Roche. My Isabel. And of course, our special guest, Nadine from Niche Clothing. 
Okay. So I feel like we need to go back a little bit. Go on. What inspired you to start a clothing brand in the first place? Oh, <laughs> sorry, um, a bit out the blue. <laughs> Do you know what, actually, when I moved back from Dubai two years ago, I had this all-in-one and I wore it everywhere and, you know, do the food shopping, go to the gym, everywhere. And when I tried to get another one, I couldn't. So uh, I thought, you know what, I'm going to make one. And that's how it started. And, it, and then it started being, the, it's like the all-in-one woman, yeah. you know, so you can wear it to do the food shopping or you can. So I'm, I'm started making all-in-one. <laughs> when I, I look it. back now and think how terribly they were made um you know but that's how it started and all i did was all in ones in the beginning um, and obviously now my collection's like grown yeah. but yeah that's how it started no way it's pretty interesting mm. so talk about dubai and do you know what to be honest i had a question for you that i always kind of have like an issue with <laughs> so i have to talk to the boys about this i'm on a show with two lads and obviously i could talk to a lot of grime artists yeah. and a lot of other normal artists in the scene and there's always a weird thing of business and pleasure that gets mixed up and i feel like that is an issue for me like i find it hard to say to people like this is i'm talking to you because i want music and people mm. seem to be like oh do you want to meet up and i'm like no, no. i'm asking you for music and oh, it's a bit yeah. like it gets really annoying because it's kind of then people don't want to speak to me because I don't want to talk in a certain way. And do you ever, has that ever happened to you or do you ever find that? Or how, how, what that's kind of massive, advice do you have for me? Like, yeah, that yeah, no, that, well? that, that, that is, that is a massive, massive thing, um, especially about women empowerment when it comes to business, especially people think, you know, oh, you know, if you're pretty or you look good or whatever, then, you know, you, you've got one up, but it's actually the opposite because um, half of the time you only get that first meeting or, you know, people are only interested because really how you look, they just make, they've got other alternatives in their mind. Yeah. So then when you get to a meeting, you have to show, prove that you actually know what you're talking about and you're here for business and then that can go one or two ways they're actually not interested in your business they're only interested in getting into you for example so yeah. so you you lose the business or you know in, in in good cases when you're dealing with good men you know they, they'll see you serious and you're about business and, and you know hopefully um, you know that'll work out but that's a it's a major challenge been a major challenge for years and years and years so being in Dubai, was it? Were you, did you find it any different there to being in England? Like how people treat you in business world, or is it? Is it? How is it working with people Ab in Dubai? Abs absolutely, and that's where the clothing comes into it because um, the minute you put on um, an abaya um, on your covered, or you know, they've they take you more seriously. There's a, there's a level of respect straight away when you walk into a room, yeah. rather than if I was dressed as a Westerner over there, you know low cut top maybe tight skirt or whatever yeah. straight away that changes the mindset or changes the vibe of the you know the meeting or, or whatever it is yeah. so i think it's strong and powerful to you know wear class wear elegance you know i think that's a good thing not saying that you can't dress yeah. you know in that way if you want to but i just think that it's your approach is really important yeah so where do you see your brand going in the next year so where do you want to push it to um I really, I've got big dreams and I think that we should all have big dreams. Yeah. Um, I think that I've got something special I, with my brand. I, I, and we've got some we've got some good things coming up in 2019. Mm. I feel the message is really strong that you have, like that you try and like show within your clothing and all the positive thinking, everything about it. It's just, I don't know. It's Thank you. I think that um, there's a lot of brands out there that are, you know, up and coming and brands that are doing really, really well. Um, but a lot of them, they don't, pick the material, uh, you know, draw the, draw it and, and do it from the beginning, mm. um, pick the fabrics and it, for me, for me, it, I want to know why am I wearing that brand? Like, what's the story of the person? You know, where does the brand come from? And I think that um, it's coming back to that mm. and that's what I would like to bring back. Just with that piece that Mai's wearing there, you can tell it's took a lot of hard work and time and detailing to get what you've got do you know what i mean because yeah element. yeah because even though from afar it looks a lot but when you get close it's like you you, you see you see it do you know what i mean and it's bits, the different yeah. bits and it's nice um because some people say a lot of the time less is more but that's it's a really nice design if there could be if there was anybody in the world dead or alive that could wear one of your pieces who would it be yeah that's a good question though i like that one. um alive Jennifer Lopez. Ooh. Mm. Um, I feel like that. Oh, the soup. Sorry. <laughs> and, um, dead. Whitney Houston. Nice. Nice. <laughs> I got big dreams. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> dream big, mate. Dream big. Talking about dream big. Um, I've got your track that you wanted. Diesel Loaf Desire. Yay. Yeah. We're going to play that. Oh, 
Yeah. Yeah. Special. Yeah, we'll play this. <laughs> yeah, we've got, we got a special guest there, Nadine, live and direct in the studio with us today from Niche Clothing. We've been speaking about her involvement with a brand, the women empowerment, going to and from Dubai. So actually, another question that I've got for you, talking about Dubai, um, obviously the twins, um, you're heavily involved with the twins brand as well now. Obviously they're international sort of now, yeah. innit, as well. I seen in their papers the other day about maybe getting a deal with America and China or something yeah. it was as well. Yeah, so. Yeah. Tell me about your involvement with, with the twins. They're like my my brothers, like my family, like they're killing it, the brand's killing it. Um, I was lucky enough to take it over to Dubai um, and they just got some great deals over there. Like you say, America, China, um, they're already in loads of stores in the UK. Um, and that's a, that's a male, that's a, you know, that's a male owned brand. Mm. And it took me 36 years to find a team yeah. that, you know, that you real feel like it's a team and, you know, there's, you can still be all woman, you know, I can do what, you know, do what I want to do and they, they support it and, you know, it's, it, it's a great, it's a great vibe, it's a great team to be involved in and, I'm, you know, I feel lucky. Yeah, Maya was looking at me like, like yeah. she can say the yeah, same thing, innit? Yeah, bro! Of course. we got family out here now. Yeah, definitely. So, yeah, so obviously being a distributor of uh, twins in Dubai and also looking after your own brand, that must take up a lot of your time, what's that like? Yeah, that's How nice. do you juggle? From home life to personal life that, to mother life to business yeah. life, how how do you manage to juggle? Do you just you know what? I just pray. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just pray and it just works out. Um, and I think that when you you don't need to when you stop trying to chase things and you just mm. let things roll, you know. And obviously, I've had a lot of years of experience of business and loads and loads of experience. And it's a constant challenge, to be honest. Finding balance is is the biggest thing, and it's super important as well. Mm. It's like my brain waves. It's everything yeah, I'm thinking, thinking. thinking. I'm like, oh my god. Ladies are saying for you. It's constant, though, babe. Honest, you got to keep. You know, you just got to keep learning and keep finding ways. Um, to, to balance your life, especially being a mum, you'll know. Having, yeah. having, um, but that's the most important thing. You got to make sure that you put that time in um, with your with your family. Quality time. Yeah, Qu yeah. You don't get a lot of time, but if you get quality time, then turn your phone off yeah. for an hour. <laughs> <laughs> You know about that, don't you? Don't you, Roche? Yes, you know what? You're not gonna lie. Sometimes <laughs> I just do it because I just have to. Phone it because all the time. Because it's a good, it's a good place to be. Literally, yeah. If I don't turn off my phone, I'm either gonna get distracted or I'm gonna be on it, just on it. So it's well, group sometimes chat, it's chat not... pops without you. I'm not gonna lie. We're like yeah, Roche, sat the silent guy, silent bot. <laughs> call you all sorts of names. They're just going, not going through. Just one tick. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah man Ph phones are a big thing man i'm not gonna lie sometimes i could sit on my phone and time would just fly by and that's just that's just probably even down to answering emails talking to you guys in the group organizing the show even that itself we could be on our phones for just a couple of hours just chatting yeah alone so you know it can take up a lot of your time so you're right man so even with social media even the way you portray your brand on social media it's empowering just to see everything like you can go on other brands and the models look a certain way mm. and it makes you feel a certain way mm. i feel like it's different when you look at your go through your instagram page yeah. you don't feel like you're jealous or like that yeah. i don't look like that or yeah. i don't fit in here or i can't wear that yeah, yeah. and you know what it's, it's all done with love like i've chose my team well like it's all done with love like there's a lot of people out there that say you know the spiritual it's about women empowerment but deep down the hating deep mm. down the bitter like they're still <laughs> not no got there yet <laughs> <laughs> still not got there yet you know and you've got to genuinely feel like I'm, I'm older you know so there's a lot of younger girls out there that i see doing well and it's like go on girl you mm. know everybody can win everybody can win you know just by complimenting somebody else or supporting another woman doesn't mean that that's going to take the light off you or you're not going to win there's there's enough for everybody that's true so true Talk, talking about your team as well um i noticed that uh, one of your friends over from um cheshire housewives uh, started to support your brand as well so oh perla yeah, yeah perla that's it yeah so tell me a bit about that how did, how did that come about how did you perla's a, a real colombian chick <laughs> you know she's just brought the real i think um to cheshire um um how do i feel about cheshire yeah yeah <laughs> how do you, cheshire? i know I, like but, to, well you know, to me i'm not gonna lie i've watched the episode uh, of it a couple of times and i think some it's a bit like um essex like you know the girls like kicking off and that in it so it's, is it staged i'm pretty sure it's scripted to be honest i, I don't know right. um i don't have time to even even watch yeah, it or, yeah, yeah, or yeah. think how do you even have time to have them kind of arguments i know, it, you know? that's what i mean it's mad it's, um, it's stupid but. what i do know is that 
there's a hell of a lot of talent, creativity, um, class and elegance in the hood. Mm. You know, in Moss Side, in Fallowfield, that don't get no exposure. <laughs> Sorry. It doesn't yeah. get no exposure. You know, they come from good homes. You're right. And, you know, they've got big dreams, but because they haven't got money or they haven't got the, the right connections, they don't get exposure. So, you know, if if I would love to be able to bring that exposure to the talent, um, you know, wh where there is real talent, where should we get an exposure? Mm. You know what? Yeah. We need this. We Manchester need this. needs we this. Need this. We need more it? people like this. Just to yeah. see life differently, open their eyes to things a bit more, if you know what I mean, rather than just be like, I'm going to get somewhere. It's all me, me, me. And that's why the Manchester scene hasn't worked for so long. Everyone was kind of just doing them and no one was collaborating, mm. working together. And now everyone's working together. Yeah. And it's slowly. I've seen that slowly. a lot. Going somewhere. Been back, which is nice to yeah. see. Slowly but surely. Yeah. We're getting, it. We're getting somewhere. Yeah. Yeah. Talking about Manchester, talking about a lot of women. Your next track, Girl Chester. Cheers. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, before before that little break as well, you mentioned just off air that um the reason why you like the More Life um album because it's the the birthday or sorry, when it came so, out. Yeah, it was released on my on my daughter's birthday. There you and go. that that whole album um I hold close to my heart. I've got some great memories memories with um with that tour yeah. and that whole album. Good, great. Let's get to this. This is Drake. Galchester, too much time on your phone. Oh, yeah. <laughs> see, that's it, see, that's, see, that's me. So, if you want to tell the people talking about phones yes, where yeah. they can find your clothing on social media. So, on social media, it's Niche Clothing, N E I S H Clothing. And I'm also on a platform which is Silk Fred and um, some news in 2019 which i can't say yet oh that sounds nice exclusive exclusive yeah, yeah. always hints. get in it exclusive yeah. hints we always get them exclusive hints <laughs> on the ratio show we're not good enough yet <laughs> <laughs> yeah we'll be getting there no. no 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 just gotta yeah. announce it in january yeah that's nice and um it's a website as well yeah so yeah. the website is um just nicheclothing.com and you've just you've just bought out um you say you've just bought on some new clothing as well new and new clothing just, new collection yeah so the new collection is called empower Ooh. and that is all available online now oh and the bandanas um yes so there's like bandanas and we're calling them like the new crowns um nice. so yeah that's so got the print on there as mine's well. got her crown on her niche crown on i can feel it yeah it's in my yeah. soul it's in my essence right now so have you got bandanas to go with every uh all in one or just yeah, different so the, colors the, are? so there's two uh styles there's the black version and then there's the white version um which you can see online and they've got the bandanas to go with them as well bless you bless you <laughs> saha in arabic oh nice <laughs> <laughs> I like that. I know. I wonder, I wonder how uh, the racial show and Pi Radio would do out in Dubai. I think we'll do all right. Absolutely, yeah, one hundred percent. Maybe, maybe we, we need speak a to real. the boss. We need a little real in uh, in the Middle East. Yeah, man. Maybe we will speak to the boss, man. Maybe he'll take us away for a weekend Ooh, with Pi Radio. Yes. In it. <laughs> <laughs> do some do some do some podcasting out there, yeah. In it. I like the sound of that. Yeah, innit? yeah, Nadine will take us <laughs> over, innit? Yeah. See, there we go, there we go, there we go, it's man. It's all about the links, innit? innit? It's all about the links, and It's man. all about moving with your little family, you yeah. know? Like, doing it all together. Of course. We've got ours now, we bro. Yeah, definitely. The ratio show, it's all about yes. that. Silence. Silence. Because Sam's not here to <laughs> talk innit? rubbish, and he normally got something horrible to say or something to could go against what we're talking about, anyway. Yeah. But not yeah, horrible. but Nadine, Sorry. <laughs> as always, and with every artist who goes about saying, it's been nice having you on. Oh, it's been a pleasure. Have you have you enjoyed the show? Really, really enjoyed it. Love Good. the vibe in here. It's so nice, so Good. nice to see you guys on this. Um, so yeah, I'll be supporting you guys going forward. Thank you for having me. See you, that mate. For dressing me as well. No problem. Niche girl. certified now. We are niche certified. In it, we'll have to get used to him um, to do some jingles for the show as well. Yeah. Oh, what's yeah. Because I think you've got a, a very nice voice. <laughs> For some, for some jingles and some drops. Okay, I'm ready. Right ring, yeah, ring on the jingles. Yeah, man, we'll do that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, speak, speaking of uh, tunes as well, I'm going to finish with this one, some uh, Lady Lashore. Okay. Yeah. yeah, that's a good choice, you know. I don't know. I was I was woman and iron about which track, though. So I was going to play the new one with Mr. Easy, the Black Madonna tune. I've not heard it either. You've not heard it. I'll play that one then. And then I'll, and then I'll play the one that I was going to play. I was going to play Brush Your Teeth because I just like it. That's and what made it popular. Like, yeah, that's yeah. what made it popular. Yeah, I love that one. So I'll play the Black Madonna and then I'll finish with Brush Your Teeth. Uh, but I think that's it for now, innit? Till next week. Sorry, two weeks we'll be back. Next week, Wednesday, is Miss OG 
Tomorrow, you've got the Welcome to Manchester show with Sparks. So we'll be back next week. Don't forget, it's the ratio show. And make sure you like and subscribe Pi Radio on YouTube. Keep a look out for the visuals as well. Yeah, as always, they will be coming very soon. Thank Peace. you.